What's up Trade Zero fam? Today in this video, we're gonna be talking about the zoom in, zoom out and vertical pan functions within Zero Pro. All right, so let's take a look at a chart. Currently I have an Apple chart open and I got a Tesla chart open on the right. I'm just gonna choose Apple for now. Now that we have this chart maximized, we're gonna take a look at some zoom in, zoom out functions, right? So you can access the zoom in, zoom out by taking a look here next to the time intervals, you'll see the zoom in, zoom out magnifying glasses, okay? So if we just zoom out by just clicking this, you can see that we receive more data. Then we can zoom in, to get a more closer picture. Other ways that you can access these functions is just simply by right clicking on your mouse. So if you right click, you can see that we have our zoom out, our zoom plus for zooming in. Then we have a reset zoom function and then also the lock vertical zoom pan. So the vertical zoom and pan function allows you to create some more space on the chart. So as opposed to zooming in to get to a specific area of a chart for price action or zooming out to see more data, this would allow you to create some white space above the price data or below it. So let's put that in an example, right? So currently the symbol for vertical zoom pan is currently locked. We can unlock it by just clicking on it. Then over on the price access side, we can now move this up and down, creating more space available. Now this is particularly useful if you're trying to place a trade that's above a certain price level that's not seen on the chart. All right, so currently on the chart, 121 is the lowest price that's reflecting on on the price axis or the Y axis, if you will, right? Now let's just say we wanted to put a limit order in to purchase below 121, but then also be able to see that data below it. So what we can do is, let's go on ahead and put in a limit order to purchase 100 shares of Apple at a price of, let's say 115. Cool, hit buy, all right? And now with our vertical zoom enabled, we can scroll down and we can see that buy limit here for 100 at 115. Just going ahead and change that actually. Now you guys can see it a little bit more clear. So we have that buy limit 100 at 115. So that's one way that you can use the vertical zoom pan function to create more space and have that flexibility to scroll vertically on the chart, right? You could always lock it back by just clicking on the symbol. And that's all for this video. We hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for the next one.